If you catch our show on Sundays when we do the first upload, I apologize. This one's running later than usual. We lost power last night during a windstorm, right when I was in the middle of editing. But I'm here, you're here, we got a fun one for you today. We do have a fun one for you today. Thanks for joining us for Coffee with Conti. Yeah. Now, we wouldn't be a Corvette channel if I didn't start today's show by talking about the two GM engineers racing C8 Corvettes in Bowling Green, Kentucky. <laughs> More on that in just a second, because I think a lot of us have been there. You had that stretch of road, nobody's on there. You hit it. I did that. Had an 87 Cavalier, all cleaned up, had nowhere to go. It was one, mind you, with the digital dash back in 87. So I'm out driving a Route 2 just outside of Toledo, and I want to, <laughs> it would have been an easier way to do this, but I wanted to get it to 100 on the dash. So what do I do? Uh, here I go. And I come right by the Toledo airport, right up over this big, this big overpass, and at the top, were two Ohio State Highway Patrolmen. Pew, I go right past them. I'm like, oh man. I just pulled over. They come up. They said, what are you doing? Now, there's a direct correlation to my story and what happened to the guys in Bowling Green. And I said, well, I really had nowhere to go. I just cleaned up my car and I got this new digital dash. You know, I wanted to see if it could get up to 100. Because, oh, that was stupid. <laughs> yes, it was. Here's your ticket. Have a nice day. See you in court. Oh, man, it was crazy. So these guys, and let's face it, all right, let me just lecture for a second. We all have, and it's crazier today on the roads, we all have a great responsibility when we get behind the road. And when this happened, my contacts and all this kind of stuff were blown up the phone. Hey, did you see this? And you, you kind of chuckle for a second. You're like, oh, my gosh, really? A GM engineer in Bowling Green in a C8? Oh, are you kidding me? Um, You've got to take that responsibility when you're driving the most sought after car, the car that has more eyes on it in the world than any other vehicle, the C8 mid-engine Corvette. And I'm sure those guys were out driving and they were looking around and I got beep, 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 and got busted. You were stupid because you got caught. But you're still stupid. <laughs> right. And my intel, you can read all the reports you want. They're saying, oh, well, they were going 67. They were doing 72. My intel tells me they were doing 126 in a 45. You were stupid. Guys, what are you thinking, man? Come on. You work for GM. You've got facilities that you can go do that. Not on a public road. You got to worry about hurting yourselves or somebody else. You have a greater responsibility you were stupid. In a statement from General Motors, they say, we are aware of an incident involving our test vehicles and are currently investigating. Safety remains our overriding priority at General Motors. We have no further comment at this time. Boys, boys, boys. All right, now on today's show, you'll have an opportunity to see Carl again, the guy from North Carolina. He was on the show a couple of weeks ago. He was the guy that was upset that he wanted to buy the car that was already sold to Kevin in Wisconsin. Remember that guy? You can't have it. It's mine. It's mine. You can't have it. Go find another one somewhere. That's a red one up there you can have. You gotta love There's it. There's a white one. Yeah, that guy. Well, today he's back picking up his Long Beach Red with Spice Interior Grand Sport. And here's what he does during the delivery. We installed AS3 tires on there. He takes the factory Grand Sport tires, gives them away for you guys to bid on them starting today on the show. And the money that we raise will be donated to the Wounded Warrior Project. Now that's awesome. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Coffee with Conti. All right, let's check out some viewer mail. This is getting a little, just a little out of hand. You guys are amazing. Uh, this is our viewer mail segment. It's when you send stuff to me and I just want to acknowledge it and say thank you on the vlog. We've got, uh, I don't even know where to start. I got, this, I got this big box right here. I got this cool box over here. Got a nice letter here. Got another box over here. Start off with this letter here from Keith and Cheryl in South Carolina. I got this just before Christmas. It says, Rick, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Hope you're having a good holiday season. We did, of course it was too short. I know you're busy and overwhelmed from watching your vlogs. We enjoy them all. It gives us 
relaxation time together from our hectic schedules. <laughs> Appreciate you guys watching. We thought we'd get you something for Christmas, but it was a difficult task. It seems you have so much in your office. I think that you have all the Corvette hats, shirts, jackets that have ever been made. We found some lapel and hat pins for you. Hope you like them. Just wanted to say thank you for all that you do for the Corvette community. We look forward to getting to Pataskala one day to shake your hand and get the next Corvette to add to our collection. By the way, we enjoyed the Vets and Pets vlog. We aired that just before Christmas. Didn't get a chance to see that. There'll be a link down below in the description. And I do. Oh my gosh, I love lapel and hat pins. Oh yeah, thanks you guys. C8, Stingray, yeah buddy. Oh yeah, Corvette Racing, love that. All right, our next box, I've already opened it as you see. This is from our past customer, Aram in California. It actually has a C8 Corvette on order. He says, Rick, I saw, because <laughs> I saw how stressed you've been on the vlogs with some of the nonsense going on with the C8 Corvette. I want to wish you a happy new year and here's a care package to help get you by. All right, this is, um, oh, I <laughs> can't. I'm not going to share what this says on <laughs> the stress ball. You're nuts. Uh, okay, you got this. You get through it, man. Yeah, and let that gal go. All right. <laughs> what else we got in here? Uh, yeah, chocolate liqueurs. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Some cocoa, baby. <laughs> Panic Pete. <laughs> What's going on with my order? When's it coming? Hey, I got a question my order. I didn't order from you. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you, Aram. I appreciate that. Let me address this, though, real quick. Because I think sometimes maybe I'm delivering the wrong message and some of the stress we've been dealing with in the C8 Corvette. And part of it comes from two things. Number one, me not being able to get back to my customers in the timeline that I want to. And I still have a lot of that going on. Every day there's some kind of a diversion or an interruption. And the people that are calling me and contacting me with... Um, just a mountain of questions about the order they have at other dealerships. And I've told some people about this stuff off camera. They said, hey, why don't you just tell them to screw off, man? Not at all. Again, I'm the big picture guy, okay? I'm the base hit guy. Not trying to hit the home run because those folks that don't have a car ordered with me one day may buy from me. And I feel bad and I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to be an ass and just say, hey, I can't answer your questions. Like we talked about before, as soon as you ask one question, you're like, oh, this guy knows what's going on. Hey, here comes 20 more and I'm out of business. Got a call just the other day. The customer care center sent this call to me and said, hey, this guy's ready to buy a car, needs to talk to you. Get on the phone with the guy, 45 minutes. He already bought a car somewhere else and wanted my advice on what tires to get, and what rims to get, and this, and this, and this, and this, and super nice guy, and he's planning to buy a car for me in 2022. I just hope I live long enough to see it. But I mean, that's the thing, and I'm not trying to blow you guys off, it's just uh, right now I have, to, I have to take care of home base, and I have to take care of my customers. And it frustrates me that, yeah, I get the diversion, but it frustrates me that you're spending sixty to ninety thousand dollars on the C8 car at your dealership, and he's making zero effort to help you and inform you guys. It's every day. I get twenty, thirty a day. I'm not kidding you. It's crazy. So yeah, we put ourselves out here on the channel, and I'm not trying to be difficult. But right now, in the launch of this car, there's so much going on. There's so much wrong information going on. Even the dealer tour continues to tell people that the car sold out. Stop it, would you, man? It's not, dude. It's crazy. So for the people that haven't bought from me and you have questions and you're like, well, Rick, you seem to know what's going on. I do. Uh, and I'm sorry that I can't help you directly. And I love talking to Corvette people, but right now I've, I've got to take, take care of my guys. So don't misconstrue that message. Hopefully, all right, you, you guys understand. What I'm okay, let's open some more stuff. This one I've already opened, so... Actually, I've been holding on to this one since October, and this is from our friend and our customer, Paul, in Washington State. So let me just give you the fake surprised look, all right? Hey, get your cameras ready. Do I look surprised? Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> look at this freaking thing, man. Oh, my God. Paul, man, I love you, dude. This is... <sighs> wow. I mean... Freaking wow, man. This is a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys watching. This Now look at this one. This says, open this first. So, all right, had to proofread this first before I read it to you guys in the vlog. And this is Old Vinegar, uh, Tim in Kentucky. Appreciate that. It says, Dear Rick Corvette Conti, you recently drew my name 
as a winner in your poster contest. I was so thrilled to hear my name on your vlog. I started watching your vlog, though, after I ordered my CA from my local dealership. My thirst for knowledge about this car led me to you on YouTube. I can only say that I wish that I knew about you before my purchase. I've been so impressed with your Corvette passion. I've been equally impressed with Chuck, the Corvette technician. I only hope that my dealer has a Chuck on staff. So enough of all that. I'm sending you a yellow C7 Corvette to add to your toy collection. Judging by your office, I'd probably say you don't have room for this vet. I'd say big toys for big boys applies. You deserve a bigger office. We were just talking about that. Everyone on the channel should lobby Coughlin Chevrolet to get you a bigger office. Yeah, give me a showroom and something for the customers too, man. Absolutely. Let's go. After all, you've sold over 200 or more CA Corvettes. I have and a lot more to come. My dealer was only allocated 11. I'm also sending you a shop magnet to help <laughs> the super tire saver, man. That's the flat tire saver. Thank you, flat tire saver guy. You're the best. There's no guy in there. Take two. <laughs> in his daily activities of sweeping the parking lot for potentially hazardous tire damaging screws and nails. Keep up the great work. I tell everyone I know about you in the vlog. I hope my referrals get you some new business. Uh, Tim, that, that's fantastic. Just the letter alone is fantastic. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> cool, man. Bar here. <laughs> I really, that's, I'm not acting. I can't get him out. Still not coming out. Tim, you got this thing packed in here, dude. <laughs> oh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, dude, that is so cool. Oh yeah, look at this, man. Dude, you know what's gonna happen? Not that I wanna do it, because it's so embarrassing, but I might have to put the Superman costume back on again. <laughs> and start walking around the lot with this. <laughs> uh, it's fun sharing the stuff on the vlog. It just really, truly means a lot to me off camera. Uh, I am just, just taken away uh, by the thoughtfulness from everybody on the channel. So uh, seriously, uh, thanks. This is pretty cool, hey, man. Go home, go home, go home. <laughs> We're practicing before we turn the camera on. He's sniffling, I'm sniffling. <laughs> We're back. Hey, you guys remember this guy? This is Carl. This is the guy that fell in front of. <laughs> it was all staged. It was a nice job, though. Fell in front of Kevin's. 19 Z06, that's the car he came up to buy and he says no, and I talk about the flexibility that you guys have in picking cars, we were just talking about that on one of our Sunday Coffee with Conti shows, and that's exactly what Carl did. He goes, oh, you know, that's okay, that's sold, I'm looking at some of the other Grand Sports, and we didn't get a chance to show Carl's car when he was here from his visit from North Carolina. People said, well, what car is he getting? Because we told you he was coming back and he's back. Thanks for coming back. Oh, and let me just step out of the shot here and show you guys this gorgeous, look at that guys, Long Beach Red with a spice red interior. You might be able to see a little bit through the windshield here. Yes. And then you and I were talking in the back and one of my favorites on this is that this combo reminds me because of my, my love for Corvette heritage of the 93 Ruby Red yeah. anniversary car. Yeah. I, I just, you know, it, but here it is in modern day, and it's just gorgeous. It's it classy. Beautiful. Now, what Carl wants to do, he wants to take these calipers and powder coat them Long Beach Red, and I would have to say that would be the finishing touch. In addition to, now check out some of this stuff that he did. we got to give a little plug to our friends at ACS Composites. That's right. Joseph. Joseph yeah. did a nice job hooking you up. Uh, he actually gave us, and I don't know if you guys can see these here, a little camera light will help. There you go. Uh, we have a set of these extensions here to give away in just a little bit on the channel, but here's something else that Carl added. And Chris in Michigan, he did this to his Grand Sport. Ooh. Now this is just a plastic standard from Chevy, but when you see that in the carbon flash, it just matches everything else on the car, guys. And that's gorgeous. Yeah, he also got this from ACS, the front splitter, and he's got the side rocker extensions here. And we'll just continue down the ass end of the car right there, boys. Check that out. And look at this. I told Carl, 
I'm gonna tell him what I said. Hey, I'm always honest with you guys, you know, and he says, hey, I got this rear diffuser thing. And I said, man, I don't know if that's gonna look good on this car, didn't I? I yeah, just, you did. I was a little concerned, but here's here's why I think it worked, right? And if you guys aren't familiar with that, then again, a little camera light, please. Thank you, boys. You can see these right here, these diffusers, gives it that, that C8R, that C7R look. And why I think they look good and add boldness to this car is because he went, with these right here. So we got the little taller extensions there and the whole package, the whole package, dude, looks good. It does. You're pretty I, excited though, aren't you? I, well, I'm like a kid at Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Even after he committed and actually came up here and paid for this car before he took it because he was gonna do some stuff to it, uh, he called me a couple of days later uh, because Kevin hasn't come yet from Wisconsin and Carl asked me, he goes, well, because I just want to ask you one more time, uh, <laughs> did, uh, did Kevin finalize the deal? Yes, he did. Here's what he did. Do me a favor. Hold this for a second if you would. All right, so this is what he did. He went, put the money on the wood, and he made the deal look good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's how we roll. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, what a pleasure working with you, man. It really is. Just, well, been, just a lot of fun. Pleasure's mine, bro. Really, seriously. seriously. Thank you. I uh, so appreciate it. Hey, and we talked about this before. Too. Here's the other thing we did. And this is another reason it took all day to get everything done. And you see underneath there? Her, oh, see yeah. that right there? Yeah, yeah. We added the all-season tires. You're gonna love that. Great. Oh yeah, they do. They're uh, nice meats, as we like to say, <laughs> in the biz. Yeah. Real nice meats. Now, here's what we're gonna do now, and this is thanks, I don't know if I'm this light. It's kind of bright, okay, that's better. This is what we're gonna do, and we talked about this before in case you missed it. Thanks to Carl and his generosity, he's got brand new Grand Sport tires that just come off this car. They're here at the dealership. What I want you guys to do now is, and this is his idea, and I just commend him for that, and this is fun. Love to do a little give back. We're gonna auction those tires off to you guys on the channel right now. So if you're interested in buying those tires, don't put don't put it in the comments. Email me directly. There's an email address that's up on the screen right now. Email me directly a bid that you want to pay for those tires. I'll pay the shipping to get them to you wherever you're at. And then what we're gonna do with the money that you pay for the tires, the winner of the auction, we're gonna donate that money by his request to Wounded Warriors Foundation. Carl, thanks for that. You're welcome. That's really cool. Every every little bit helps, man. And just the acknowledgement of those guys uh, and, 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 and women that have served our country uh, and given us the opportunity right. to enjoy this moment. That's right. Just every little bit. It really does add up, man. It really does. So make a bid on those new Grand Sport tires. Uh, they'll fit 17, 18, 19, whatever the case may be. I know you're getting ready to do some more service in the line of work that you're in now. Yeah. Uh, pretty soon you're getting ready to go back over to Saudi Arabia, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so you got to be careful over there. Oh, I, I know. I know you've been there before and it's all good, you know, just when anybody goes overseas, I just, please be careful. Just like when I ship these cars, I just, it's my, please be careful, you know, <laughs> that's the parent in me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older than you. Look at my, my children here, my, <laughs> yeah. co my Corvette kids right here. <laughs> I'm older than you are. <laughs> that's right, you're still my Corvette kid. <laughs> now, I wanted you to tell the folks that are watching right now, and we just talked about this too on the vlog, you guys, where... I talked about being proud that that you've got a Corvette, you know, enjoy it, you reward yourself, you've worked hard, it means something. I mean, this 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 moment means something when you're driving down the road, that smile on your face, even though somebody may not see it, smiles on your face, it means something. But tell me and tell the folks watching right now the story about the first car you bought with your dad. I don't know, I, even know, I know if that's the right terminology, but the, the first car purchase with your dad and how, you know, most of us watching right now, and you know from the vlog that I did as far as the analytics and the demographics, you're gonna go, yep, Rick, that's that's some old school right there. That's how you learn. So go ahead and tell, tell the guys. This is 1974. Okay. And uh, we, we didn't have much growing up. And uh, of course we didn't know we didn't have much because our parents sacrificed for us. And, sure. And, uh, but I, I, said, I said, dad, you know, I, 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 I think maybe, you could help me buy a, a, a car? He said, sure, I'll help you buy a car. And I almost fell over. I was, you will? He I was said, like, all right, yeah. yeah all right, all right. You know, here we go. I told all my friends, my dad's going to help me buy a car. So we go to we go to a used car dealer and, and uh, narrowed it down to, to a, um, a 68 Mustang or a 68 Mercury okay. and and picked the Mustang. He said, I said, okay. He said, okay. Now, how are you going to pay for it? I said, well, you said you were going to help me 
buy the car. He said, I did. I helped you pick out a good car. Now, how are you going to pay for it? Cool. <laughs> I said, I guess I'll get a job. <laughs> how about that? And I've been making car payments, you know, ever since. But, a little you know, a little it, well, you know he taught me how to budget. He said, if yes. when it needs tires, you put the tires on it or, or you park it. And he said, right. if it needs insurance, I come to you for the insurance money. If you don't have the insurance money, you give me the keys because it's in my car. You, you know, know. That's right. and uh, he said, you don't come to me for anything. And I didn't. And, and so I had a little shoebox and envelopes. Right. Every time, every week I got paid, I put a little money in right. each envelope. And when he came with his hand out, there you yeah. go, Dad. He fought for it. He worked for it. Yep. And that's why. That's why. That's why it means something. That's yep. pretty cool. And I know a lot of people watching right now can relate to that and have similar stories. That's right. Some people may call it a tough love. Uh, many of my friends have said, "Hey, there's no value in free." Um, yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, and I'm one that has because I lived in that era. I've spoiled my kids to the point it's like, well, I got to stop doing that, man. They're not going to learn. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Eric, Ricky, going to preach again. I'm sorry. All right. We got to have some, we got to deliver a car. And it was funny because he's been here all day and it was starting to get dark. So, we pulled over here where you can see it's a lot lighter. And the car goes, he goes, hey, you know what? I can, this is funny how this is such a big deal to you guys. And this is big to me too. He goes, um, I can come back in the morning if you need me to because I want to make sure I get the send off pad on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's just been a really long day, so I'm kind of wiped out, man. Uh, but how about Carl from North Carolina donating those factory tires, the money that you raise, that you, that whoever bids the highest bid, uh, we're going to donate to the Wounded Warriors Foundation. Carl, thank you for that, and thank you for those of you that are going to take time that may already have bid. And what I want you to do is email me, like we talked earlier, email me the bid for those tires, and we'll let you know who the winning bid is. guys somebody had texted me they said hey that was a really nice jacket that Carl was wearing in that vlog oh the jacket that I'm wearing right now <laughs> yes it is <laughs> this guy is so cool he's giving me this jacket and I said man you can't go home with no jacket so he's gonna send me one just like this but I love this 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 jacket is just it's so comfortable it's warm too man it is warm. so th it's thank you so much but i had to show it off before it rolls okay so hang on a second we're gonna do the send off pat i gotta give him his coat back <laughs> okay my friend dude thank what, you what an absolute pleasure seriously pleasure. let's make sure everybody can see you here I'll blind you bam all right there you go <laughs> <laughs> Easiest car buying experience I've ever had, and I've been buying cars since 1970. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I appreciate oh, it. No, it's been a blast, man. Keep in touch, all right? Definitely. Even even when you're overseas, okay? Better will. Thanks, man. Congratulations. Be Take safe. Care. All right. It's time for a little send off, Pat. This is the part. It's one of the parts he's been looking for, guys. Look how good looking that car is. Send off, Pat, for Carl, North Carolina. Congratulations, man. All right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Be careful, man. I will. God bless. You too, buddy.